Always been here for you to answer your questions, to help solve your problems, to keep you informed about what's happening with Wade Cable Vision. Now, our name is Wade Cable. Your dedication to customer service is even deeper because nothing is too good for our customers, which means that nothing is too good for you. Take a look at the new Wade Cable and best choice for entertainment, quality, and service. When it's time for fun, when it's time to learn, when it's time to cheer, you've always turned to Wade Cable Living. Now we're called Wade Cable, and we have even more to offer. In addition to old favorites, we proudly present new channels like HBO2, Cinemax2, Classic Sports, Animal Planet, the History Channel, Turner Classic Movies, the Pennsylvania Cable Network, and our exclusive Wade Cable Home Theater. Take a look at the new Wade Cable, your best choice for entertainment, value, and service. Wave Cable Vision has always been part of the fabric of your life. We've been with you in happy times. We share your concerns and your hopes. And like you, we know that nothing is too good for our children. Now we're called Wave Cable. Our commitment to the community has grown even stronger. After all, we're part of you. Take a look at the new Wave Cable, the best choice of entertainment, value, and service. Hello and welcome to Wave Cable Texas. Today we'll show you how to fix some cable TV problems that you might run into from time to time. We'll call this basic troubleshooting. Let's deal with the easiest problems first. If you're not getting a picture, Make sure that the TV set is plugged in and turned on. Also, make sure that the power switch for the outlet is on. If the TV has power, but you're still not seeing a picture, make sure that the power to the cable box is plugged in. Now, let's say that you've checked the power and that you still have no picture. Your next step is to check the cable connections. This is what your cable box looks like from behind. The TV signal enters here through the connection box of cable. The cable box itself is a tuner. Like the tuner on your TV set, it allows you to select one channel while screening all others out. When the signal leaves the box, through the connection marked TV, it consists only of the channel that you've chosen to see. If any of the connections leading to or from the box are loose, you might see wavy lines or snow in the picture. Make sure that all of these connections are tight. That way, you ensure that the TV signal is able to reach your television set. The signal coming from your cable box can only be viewed if your TV set is tuned to channel 4. To avoid accidentally switching your TV set off of channel 4, change channels with the cable box remote only, not your TV set remote. First, if the remote isn't changing the channel, make sure that nothing is preventing the remote signal from reaching the box. Depending on where it's placed, a small object, such as a cup, can be enough to block the signal. Make sure that there are no objects between you and the cable box when you try the remote. Also, try using your remote from a number of different angles. This way, you can usually determine just what is blocking the signal. If the problem isn't due to something blocking the remote signal, check the batteries in your remote. Do this by popping off the small hatch on the back of the remote. First, make sure that the batteries are inserted properly, according to the diagram located inside the remote battery's compartment. If the remote still doesn't work when the batteries are inserted properly, there's a chance that they are old or dead. Replace the batteries with two fresh AAA batteries and try again. If this doesn't work either, then it might be necessary to have the remote service. Now let's recap what you've learned. If you're not getting a picture or if the screen is full of snow, make sure that the TV set and the cable box are plugged in and that the power to both is on. 
Make sure that all connections are tight. Make sure the TV set is tuned to channel 4. If your remote isn't working, make sure that nothing is blocking the remote signal from reaching the cable box. If that doesn't work, make sure that there are two fresh AAA batteries properly inserted in the remote. Now that you've graduated from basic troubleshooting, you're ready for our advanced course. The advanced cable connections episode of Tech Tips deals with hooking up VCRs and your home stereo system. Watch for it here on Wave Cable Channel 75. And don't hesitate to call us at 581-6100 if you have any questions. Thank you for watching Tech Tips. See you later. Hi, I'm Jim Horta, Director of Technical Operations here at Wave Cable. Would you believe that this small piece of paper could protect you from becoming a victim of a crime? This is an official Wave Cable equipment receipt. This is the form that must be filled out whenever a Wave employee removes a piece of our equipment from your home. Printed on the front of the receipt are four conditions. First, the receipt must be printed on purple security paper. Second, look on the back of the receipt. There you will find the logo of Time Warner Cable. If the logo isn't there, do not surrender your equipment. Third, if the receipt is purple yet displays the void sign, do not surrender the equipment. Fourth, every wave technician is required to sign the receipt and write his badge ID number on it. Keep in mind that you are financially responsible for any wave cable equipment in your home. A single missing box could cost you $150. If you have any questions, call us at 581-6100. Thanks for watching. Wave Cable is celebrating its 10th birthday, and we're giving the present to you. As a Wave customer, you can add any premium channel for just a 10 cent installation fee. This deal covers HBO, Cinemax, Disney, Showtime, and the Movie Channel. Call 581-6100 now and ask for the Wave Cable 10th birthday special. You've got to call by October 24th to take advantage of this great deal. It's our happy 10th birthday to you. Hi, I'm Jim Porter, Director of Technical Operations here at Wave Cable. Would you believe that this small piece of paper could protect you from becoming a victim of a crime and save you from paying hundreds of dollars as well? To learn how, keep watching. Good morning. I'm from your cable company. I'm here to pick up your converter box. You were supposed to shop here tomorrow. I know, ma'am, but I happen to be in your neighborhood today, so I thought I'd stop by. If it's a problem... No, no problem. Actually, this works out a lot better for me. I have so much to do. It won't take long, right? No, ma'am, just a couple minutes. Well, come on in. Anyhow, it's a lucky thing you did show up today. I have a lot on my mind as it is. Well, I'm glad to be of service. Well, I'd better be going. Thank you for being a cable subscriber. Thank you. Oh, could I have a receipt for that box? Oh, of course. I'm sorry, though. I left my book of official receipts at the office today. Oh, that's okay. All I need is something with your name and telephone number on it. I understand completely. There you go. Thank you. Well, have a good day. Thank you. You too. Uh, yes, I'm Ted from Wave Cable. I'm here to pick up your converter box. But there must be some mistake. There was someone here from your office to pick that up yesterday. The market for stolen converter boxes is huge. And what you've just seen is an example of how many of them end up in the wrong hands. Law enforcement professionals call this theft by deception. Mrs. Jones made three simple mistakes, mistakes that anyone could have made. Let's take a look at these, starting with the first. I'm from your cable company. I'm here to pick up your converter box. Well, come on in. Mistake number one. Mrs. Jones shouldn't have opened the door without asking the man on the front porch to show proper identification. 
any legitimate wave cable employee instantly will show you an ID badge. This is what a typical wave cable ID badge looks like. Take a close look at it. When someone shows you a wave cable badge, you need to do three things. First, make sure that the person presenting the ID badge to you is the same person that appears in the photo on the badge. Second, notice the expiration date on the badge. All wave cable badges have them. And third, make a note of the employee's name and ID number. We suggest that you write these down. It was easy for Mrs. Jones to make that first mistake, and it was just as easy for her to make the second one as well. You were supposed to shop here tomorrow. I know, ma'am, but I happened to be in your neighborhood today, so I thought I'd stop by. Mistake number two. Mrs. Jones should have been suspicious if the technician showed up before the scheduled time. If we need to reschedule a service appointment, we will definitely call you beforehand. So if someone claiming to be a cable technician shows up at your door before their scheduled time, call us immediately to confirm that they are who they say they are. Our main number is 581-6100. You may also call our audit hotline at 581-6741. Let's take a look at Mrs. Jones' third mistake. Oh, could I have a receipt for that time? Oh, of course. I'm sorry, though, I left my book of official receipt for the office. Oh, that's okay. All I need is something with your name and telephone number on it. I understand completely. There you go. Thank you. That was mistake number three. And this is where the official wave cable receipt comes in. This is a far cry from the scrap of notebook paper that the con man left with Mrs. Jones. This is the form that must be filled out whenever a wave employee removes a piece of our equipment from your home. Printed on the front of the receipt are four conditions. First, the receipt must be printed on purple security paper. Second, look on the back of the receipt. There you will find the logo of Time Warner Cable. If the logo isn't there, do not surrender your equipment. Third, if the receipt is purple yet displays a void sign, do not surrender the equipment. Fourth, every wave technician is required to sign the receipt and write his badge ID number on it. Keep in mind that you are financially responsible for any wave cable equipment in your home. A single missing box could cost you $150. The Wave Cable Receipt also contains other crime-fighting features that we wish to keep secret. The end result, an official receipt that is extremely difficult to counterfeit. Now let's review what we've learned. All legitimate Wave representatives will have identification badges. Make sure that the photo on the ID badge matches the person. And note the name, ID number, and expiration date. If someone shows up at your door unannounced, it could be a sign that you're being scammed. Do not let them in and call 581-6100 or 581-6741 to confirm their identity. A Wade representative will give you an official receipt for any equipment you remove. This receipt is printed on purple security paper. It must display the Time Warner Cable logo on the back and must not display the void sign on the front. The Wade Cable representative must also sign his name on the receipt, as well as enter his ID number. Finally, keep in mind that you are financially responsible for all Wade Cable equipment in your home. Our purpose here is not to alarm you, but to make you aware of how real the threat of cable box theft is. This new customer receipt is just one more way that we can help you to save time and money, as well as protect you. As always, if you have any questions, Call us at 581-6100. For Wade Cable, I'm Jim Horta, and thanks for watching.